Welcome to our five on five. Please be joined today by Harlan Bittner and Jennifer McCracken from the Siskiyou Velo Bike Club. Thanks so much for both being here today. It's a pleasure, Thank Craig. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's start with, with the, this is a, a bicycle club. You guys, you guys ride, Harlan, tell us about the club. Exactly right. It's a club of about a couple hundred members. It's been in existence far longer than I've been in the Rogue Valley, probably a couple decades at least, perhaps longer. Mm -hmm. It's uh, created to promote bicycle pleasure in the Rogue Valley and bicycle safety. We have an advocacy and education program to help motors and bicyclists understand <coughs> safety aspects. Okay. But it's primarily a social club. We, we have a lot of sponsored rides. We have uh, some social events, an ice cream social, a bike wash, a barbecue, a Christmas party, things like that throughout the year. So it's really fostering a community among the bicyclists in the, in the valley. Wow, okay, and you said a couple hundred. Are, are most of the <coughs> members Jackson, Josephine, or what areas? Uh, mostly, yeah, probably from uh, uh, even, even Northern California all the way up to Grants Pass, but primarily the Rogue Valley from Ashland up to Eagle Point are okay. most of our members. Right. And, and Jennifer, can anyone join the club? Um, yes, um, and you, um, if you're 18 and under, you need a parent signature. Sure. Um, but yes, and it's okay. I think the membership's $20. Okay. Very nominal. Okay, yeah, and, and so we're, kind of our focus here today is to talk about safety on the roads, and, mm -hmm. and that goes for bicyclists mm -hmm. as, well as, as well as drivers. So is it safe to bicycle in, in, in Oregon, Harlan? What do you think? I'd answer that by saying that if motorists and bicyclists follow the rules, if follow the law, it's safe. And I've been riding for myself 10 years. I've only had one accident. It was my own fault. I, I followed another bicyclist too closely, and he stopped. I hit him and fell over the road. Mm. Most of the accidents I see actually happen on the greenway or not between bicyclists and cars. But when there is an accident between a bicyclist and a car, it can have pretty dire consequences. Yeah. Cars are a very big vehicle compared to bicycle. Yeah, well, unfortunately, <clears throat> we've, seen, we've seen those things, of course, working in news. So uh, what are the laws that people need to know as far as, I guess, first we'll start with, with drivers. What do they need to know about maneuvering around a bicycle? Okay, well, one important concept that's true in Oregon and in most states is that uh, bicycles are considered vehicles. So they have all the rights of a car and they have all the responsibilities of a motor vehicleist in, in using the roads. So it's important to understand where bicyclists can ride legally and what the exceptions are from a motor's viewpoint. I think we have a, a lot of situations where we will get finger wags when a motorist thinks we're doing something wrong when we're actually following the law and more importantly, following safe biking procedures. Mm -hmm. So for example, in, in urban areas, there are often are bike lanes in many of the streets in Medford and Ashland. And in an urban area where there's a bike lane, a bicyclist has to stay in that bike lane with a few exceptions, like if there's a hazard, a blockage, or they're making a left-hand turn and they're in a right-hand bike sure. lane. Uh, but, but the bicyclist has to stay in that lane. And there's really no definition for how far a car has to pass. It's just as if the bike's in the bike lane, the car's out of the bike okay. lane, the it'll, lines it'll are be defined. safe, right? right. Okay. But in rural areas where the speeds are higher, um, they generally are not bike lanes, and there may or may not be a shoulder. If there's a very wide shoulder, it's probably safest for bicyclists to be in the shoulder. In fact, the law states that uh, bicyclists should ride as far to the right of the lane as practicable. But there are a whole host of exceptions where you sure. may not want to be there by, by the law or even for safe reasons. The, the, the key thing that drives my concern is the safe passing distance. I do not like to be passed by a car or worse, a truck with not enough room to, yeah, to feel right. comfortable. Of course. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a safe passing law in Oregon that says that if, if this is the, the bicyclist, that's the tire on the road, that's the bicyclist's head, mm -hmm. the motor has to allow enough room in passing that bicyclist that if he or she were to fall into the lane of traffic, they would miss that. Okay. And that can be five and even six feet for yeah. tall bicyclists. Yeah. yeah, so you definitely <coughs> want to slow down and move right. around, of course, right. oncoming traffic. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So usually that means, at least unless the road is really big, that the motors has to get in the opposite lane in mm -hmm. order to pass safely. Okay. And of course, the motors can only do that if there's no oncoming traffic. If there is, and the bicyclist is, is is in the, partly in the lane, mm -hmm. the motors has to slow down and mm -hmm. follow the bicycle. That's, wow. that's the law. So Harlan, if, if people want more information about the club or, or the safety tips or anything like that, what's the best road for them to go? Well, the club has a, a, a website, siskiyouvelo.org, and we also have a Facebook presence as well. But on the website, you can find some safety tips, you can find information about upcoming rides, mm -hmm. all of our social events, okay. and a, a lot of things about our safety navigation advocacy program including the, some classes that we offer for bicyclists, maybe beginning bicyclists who want to learn more about safe bicycling. It even has a practical aspect of driving through traffic in a, in a, down, a downtown area, so okay. get comfortable with driving in traffic. Okay, very good. Thank you both so much for being here today. Hopefully some tips that keeps everybody safe out there. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.